Uh, hi, my name is Roberto Izquierdo. I'm professor of medicine and pediatrics and uh, medical director for the uh, pediatric diabetes program. I'm going to talk to you about what is diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic condition in which the blood sugar is high. Normally, blood sugar is between 70 and 126. It is maintained in this range uh, by a hormone called insulin. Insulin is produced in the pancreas, which is an organ behind the stomach. Uh, most of the pancreas produces enzymes that break down uh, fat and uh, proteins in the digestion. Um, but, but within the pancreas, there are small uh, islands of cells called islets of Langerhans that produce and secrete insulin into the bloodstream. Uh, nor normally, uh, the sugar in the blood comes from the food that we eat, and uh, the liver. Uh, the pancreas then produces insulin, uh, and insulin is sort of like a bridge that allows sugar to, to move from the bloodstream into the muscle cells. In the muscle cells, or any other type of cell, then the sugar is converted to energy. In diabetes, uh, since there's lack of insulin, blood sugar accumulates to a high extent. It cannot enter the cells. As a result, the cells um, uh, weaken, the cells starve, and the person weakens. The high sugars in the bloodstream then passes through the kidney and into the urine, and with it, it drags water and electrolytes. So the person with diabetes eventually becomes dehydrated. Some of the signs and symptoms of high blood sugars are shown here, and they, and they include extreme tiredness, drowsiness, dry mouth, frequent urination, and extreme thirst. Uh, when the cells starve without glucose, uh, because insulin is not available, the body responds by burning fat for energy. When fat is used for energy, ketones, uh, a byproduct of fat metabolism, appear in the blood. Ketones are acidic and, make, and can make your blood acidic, making the person with diabetes very sick and causes a condition called diabetic ketoacidosis. The only way to stop this process is by administering insulin. Some, some of the signs and symptoms of diabetic ketoacidosis are shown here. They include nausea and vomiting, fast and deep respiration, fruity odor to the breath, breath um, stomach ache, lethargy, weakness, and disorientation. Fortunately, diabetes can be treated. Uh, we try to mimic nature by administering a long-acting basal insulin and a short-acting, fast-acting insulin with meals. Uh, the basal insulin, usually given once a day, suppresses blood sugar production between meals and overnight. Uh, Mealtime insulin is given usually with the main meals and, it, and the amount that is given depends on the amount of carbohydrate that the person eats and the blood sugar before the meal. At the Johnson Diabetes Center at Upstate uh, Medical University in Galisano Children's Hospital, we have treated over 1,700 children with diabetes over the past uh, several years. Uh, we, we serve more than 20 counties in central New York. Each year we see 100 to 120 children with newly diagnosed diabetes, uh, uh, mostly type 1. The age range are from 6 weeks to 18 years of age. Here are some of the home uh, locations of some of our patients. Our Jocelyn Pediatric Team consists of board-certified pediatric endocrinologists, board-certified adult endocrinologists, pediatric nurse practitioners, physician's assistant, diabetes nurse and dietitian educators, clinical social worker, psychologist, uh, and clinical practical nurse and medical office assistants. Uh, the initial diabetic education program teaches survival skill skills. The child and family learns about nutrition, insulin administration, and adjustment and monitoring of blood sugar, recognition and treatment of low blood sugar, and high blood sugar, and also sick day management. <clears throat> uh, over time, many of our youth are, are, are start on insulin pumps, and we say most of our 
patients with type 1 diabetes are on an insulin pump. We also provide instruction with the use of continuous glucose monitoring system. Uh, we have special education programs which include preparing for college, annual teaching day for school nurses, transition fact sheets, and we have a pediatric endocrine and diabetes conference for our faculty. We participate in multiple research studies. Some of them are shown here. Uh, over the years, we have been able to accomplish uh, 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 several things, as we are shown here, which include provider NCQA recognition. Many of our providers are insulin pump certified. Uh, we have social service consultative services. We have created a pediatric diabetes education curriculum. We also have created protocols for outpatient sick day and for diabetic ketoacidosis management. <clears throat> so I just want to talk to you about some of the myths about diabetes. Uh, one myth that I hear uh, includes uh, you, pass di you pass diabetes to your children. Uh, no, diabetes is a complicated disease that involves the interaction of the environment and the individual indiv immune system. Another myth. Eating too much candy causes diabetes. No, simply there's no evidence to support this. Another myth, uh, diabetes can be passed to someone else like the common cold. No, diabetes is not an infectious disease. Once you have diabetes, you cannot eat cake or candy. That's not true either. You, uh, you, we want you to follow a healthy diet, but you can eat ice cream or candy from time to time. You just need to take insulin to cover the carbs in those foods. <clears throat> At Justin, we have a team of uh, healthcare professionals that work together to help you and your family manage diabetes day to day. These include nurse, uh, diabetes nurse educators, uh, diabetes dietitian educators, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, and doctors. We can be confident that you and your family will get through this and learn to live with diabetes in a healthy way. <clears throat> uh, Supreme Court Justice uh, Sonia Soto Sotomayor was uh, diagnosed with type 1 diabetes uh, at the age of nine. And here's a quote uh, from her book. My, my diabetes is such a central part of my life. It, is, it, it did teach me discipline. It also taught me about moderation. I've trained myself to be super vigilant because I feel better when I'm in control. Uh, thank you.